Hey, it's Josh with Treasured Spaces. Today we have another episode of Handyman Secrets and today we're gonna talk about coping. And this isn't the same thing you do after a rough day at work with your wine or your beer or anything like that. We're talking about trim and how to put it on today. So here in this corner here down by the steps, we have a little mock-up of some base shoe painted. Um, just threw it up there. Basically what that is supposed to represent is a 90 degree corner, inside corner, and it's cut with a miter joint. So each side is cut with a 45. Well, as you can see, it doesn't look real great. There's a big gap in the center. And the reason that is, is because most of the time with drywall and wood, um, there's most of the time you're not gonna have a perfect 90 degree corner. You're gonna be somewhere 87, 88, 89, or above 90, somewhere in there. So it, it's always gonna vary. It's rarely do you get a perfect 90 degree corner. So there's another process that eliminates that gap and allows you some flexibility with, um, if you don't have a 90 degree corner and that's called coping. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. All right, so I got a couple pieces of just regular old one by four here and I am going to mock up a corner. Um, basically the first setup I have is two like one foot long boards. They're cut at perfect 90 degree angles on a miter saw. I'm gonna fit those together just to show a perfect 90 degree corner. Um, and then I got my two pieces of mitered base shoe. They're both cut at a 45 degree angle on the ends. So theoretically they should fit together good in this 90 degree corner, which they do. So I have slid those in there. Whoops, slid those in. They're fitting nice. There's not a big gap anywhere. It looks nice. Um, that's, uh, I would say that's a good joint there. And that could be one way to do it. Second way, um, or my second mock-up here, I got two pieces of board again. One is cut uh, not at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna put those together. That is making a corner that is not 90 degrees at all. I don't know if you can see that on camera. I do have a straight line on there. That would be if I cut it straight. Um, and you can see my cut is not straight. And this is very common. You're not gonna find too many 90 degree corners. I mean, you do, but it's not common. So if I take my two pieces of base shoe that I have 45 degree angles on, I slide them together. Um, you notice there's a gap in the back of my trim, my base shoe. If I flip this board around my mock-up, and I do the opposite of that joint where I'm more open than a 90 degree corner. I slide my pieces in, now I have a gap on the front of my shoe base. So I could keep going to my saw, try to figure out those angles and keep cutting till it matches up good. It's just not really a point to do that, there's an easier way. So that's called coping. Coping is when you take your, your piece of trim and you basically cut it, cut the end of it to match the profile of the piece you're butting into. So for example, on this base shoe, it's thicker at the bottom, it comes up, it's curved, kind of comes to a, basically goes to nothing at the top. Um, so on this, I ended up cutting it, start from the bottom, I kind of curved out and turns into kind of like a hook at the top or a point and that will allow it to match up to my other piece. So I'm gonna flip this around now and I'm gonna show you that this works on three different angles. I made one cut and it's gonna work on three different angles. Now I got my two boards together, making the opposite um, bad corner that I had before, not 90 degree corner. Again, put my boards together, slide my trim in, matches up perfect. That's how you cope. So now I'll take you over to the saw and I'll show you how it's actually done. So we're outside here in the snow. I got my saw set up, not ideal, but we're gonna make this quick so we won't freeze. Hopefully you have a miter saw if you're tackling some of these projects. Um, my first step is to set the miter saw at a 45 degree angle. And I am going to chop this shoe base off. As you can see, I got my 45 degree angle on there. Nothing special. I could have cut it a little further, but it doesn't matter for this. Um, next, a coping saw. It's got a tiny, tiny little blade. Um, you can see there is teeth on there and they're pointed down when I use it. I'm gonna cut with the teeth pointed down. 
So I take my piece of trim. Normally you'd have a little bit better of a work surface, but we're outside, we're trying to hurry. Um, I'm gonna take my saw and I am gonna start trimming that right along the, I would say the inside edge of the 45 degree angle. And not quite done, but I got it cut off. And now I'm gonna take a round file and I'm gonna just clean that up a little bit. And there's what I'm looking for. So that piece fits against the other one. Again, you can put that in a corner that's not perfect and it's gonna look like it was meant to be, like you knew what you were doing. That's coping. And if you have something a little more elaborate, this isn't the greatest piece of trim ever, but the big box store special, it'll work for this. Um, again, I'm gonna clip this off at a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna make sure my hands aren't anywhere by the blade. Um, Then, uh, actually on this piece I have, it's about three and a half inches tall and about an inch and a half of it is a, just a flat surface, like a one by four. Then the second half, or a little under it, it's got a profile on it, it's got a decorative belly and then it swoops out again. Um, so on something like this, I wouldn't cut this whole line with the coping saw. I would actually take this piece, flip it over, and I'm gonna Take my saw again, I'm gonna set it at about a 20 degree angle, which doesn't really matter, and I am gonna trim just down to where the profile starts. So I'm gonna take that first inch and a half and I'm gonna cut, cut down. You can see that? Cut right to where that curve starts. I'm gonna just snap that off. Switch sides here again. And on this, this is gonna be a little bit more involved because there's a really tight corner on here. Once again, I'm trying to follow the profile of the trim as I cut with my coping saw and that little tiny blade. And I actually don't know if I have the right file for this, but I'll clean it up as best I can with what I have here. Is up. Might need some more cleanup yet. I'm doing this quick, it's like not very warm out. Um, <laughs> it's pretty good though. But once again, we're in a hurry. Normally, I take a little bit more time at this, and I'd have a little, a few more tools. So that is what we call coping. All right, it's getting cold out here. I'm not dressed for this. But thanks for watching Handyman Secrets. We're gonna head back inside and warm up.